Hi everyone, myself Priyanka. Again, we are moving with our lectures of theory of computation and deterministic finite automata. We have earlier seen ends with, begins with and substring DFAs. So now we are giving or I am delivering with the O condition. How we can satisfy a string with O condition? So I will write W such that W element of 0 plus 1 whole star and w ends with 0 0 1 or 0 1 1 this is the o condition it can ends with in the earlier lecture we have only taken one string at a time but here we are taking two string at a time that is it can end with 0 0 1 or it can end with 0 1 1 okay so for that we take the string that is 0 1 1 look at this it can end with 0 0 1 or it can end with 0 1 1 front condition or begins with or prefix can be bypassed okay so it can, prefix can be anything in both the string but the suffix or the end condition as 0 0 1 or 0 1 1 okay so for that check whether any common strings in the beginning that is here 0 is common in both but here 0 here 1 so in the beginning it is common so like in the same way here we are making a beginning or start state not like in the earlier lecture listen carefully here we are marking a start state from the start state look at this here 0 here 0 so 0 is common or both the string have the same pattern that is the last from the last third symbol is the 0 so we can mark here 0 but in the next state in the first string it is 0 and in the second string it is 1 so how we can mark it here we go for 0 here we go for 1 that is the main concept in the OR condition in the OR condition we will check for the common string and if the up to common string we will have the single path if the different strings are found we will make it as a two path or multiple path is being provided okay the zero here one. again the same trick next one is one so we can mark here one and mark here end street or here one it can be marked as end street or in some text you can see this is both are being marked to the same one that is this can be both marked to the same one it can also be done for beginners i will always recommend you to mark it as a mark it as a different state because otherwise you will be confusing when you are marking after mastering it of our after you have been expertized it you can mark it as a single state now for your lectures i am marking it as different state for your understanding it can be uh, swapped to a single state that is correct but for your understanding i am marking it as a two state okay so it ends with condition always i say when ends with condition you can bypass the first strings that it can be zero or one it is not a problem but when you ma loop here zero this is a problem isn't it so here you cannot mark at say zero that is the main error you are doing that is where you can bypass the one but zero in the deterministic finite automata we can have a one path for a symbol that is here zero here zero it is not correct here zero then we cannot make here a zero for a single state we have a single symbol single path that is if you are marking a state you cannot mark 0 to here and 0 to here that is wrong you can mark only one path for a symbol that is the main concept so here one is loop so 0 is come here 
again 0 we are going here again 1 we are going here this is looping uh, sorry this is accepting again 1 we are going here again 1 we are going here it has been accepted now we must move on to the non accepting states okay which symbol is to be rejected for that we can check for the first string after that we check for the next string that is one by one we are checking okay the first string is zero zero one so it can be zero zero here but zero zero one must be this is the correct string it must be accepted for you can check like that zero zero one but here we are looking only for two zeros these two zeros are not being checked and it the system will be stuck here it cannot move anything it is not accepted but this string to be accepted so what we can say zero again zero when zero comes here we can move again to here because this is accepting even number of zero so when you are checking for even number of zeros come back to the two state backward when again i am saying when you are checking for the even number of zeros when move to the second state then move to the first state if you are checking for the odd number of zero just track backtrack or just move backward the one state if you are checking for the even number of zero go back two states okay so zero when you zero comes come here when one comes already we have for this state i have marked zero for here one for here it is deterministic because i have made for the zero i have made for one here i have made for zero i have made for one but what happens when zero comes here zero comes here this is not a correct string because it must ends with what one so what happens when zero comes here so zero comes here we are checking for the even number of zeros we move to the two state backward because when we are when i move to here what will happen i will make it clear to you okay when i made here so i am writing a string zero one zero zero one so check it for that zero i am moving to here again zero i am moving to here again one i am moving to here again zero if it was like that so again zero i am moving to here again zero i move to here and here one i move to here so this is stuck here that is not because this was a correct string it is ends with zero one zero one that is why check every time check for the string whether our marking was correct or not every time put the examples of your own and check it for whether it is correct or not so when i made here what will happen zero then zero comes here i move to here when one comes here i move to here again zero comes here i move to here again zero comes here i move to here again one comes it has been accepted so that is correct what happened when one comes here one comes here it must be gone to the first state why when one comes here here the intermediate patterns are zero zero one so one must not be in this middle so it must be gone to what first state isn't it because zero zero one zero zero one one it must not be correct because it must ends with what zero zero one so this one must be moved to the first state and if it contains again zero zero one it can be accepted because this after this one again we are getting the correct string so this can be accepted otherwise it can be rejected so our zero zero one condition has been okay so we can move to the next condition that is zero one one so again i am saying 
here zero comes here we have made already two transactions zero and one what happens when zero comes here zero comes here again i am saying we are checking for the odd number of zeros then move to the first test backward one state that is the trick in that if you are checking for the even numbers go back to state if you are checking for the one uh, one occurrence you can move to the previous state that is the better trick it will not work for the all but majority it will work for 90 percentage problems so i am checking for the odd number of zeros check for the not check for ones check for the strings that is here two zeros we are checking so that is even number of zeros go back to the two state backward if you are checking for the zero if it is occurrence is one go back to the previous state so i am go going back to the previous state so zero one one it is okay so uh, we can check how if zero is made by this what will happen so i again being an example zero sorry okay it's okay zero one zero one one okay this is a correct string because it ends with what zero one one so check it zero then no here sorry i have made a mistake that is zero one zero one one okay zero then one it comes if it is not the path i have uh, made this path what will happen we are discussing zero one zero then one one here one one it is in the stack in this state that is not the correct because this is an accepting string so it must be accepted so this is not the correct path the correct path is zero must be moved to the previous state so we can look to here what happens one comes here one comes here again it is a problem because it must ends with only even number of ones okay so even number of ones we are checking here your trick will not work move to that two state backward it will not work because it must have a zero here so it must move to here only that is again i have said so many problems it works but in some condition it will not work if i had two ones here again i am one here i am checking for the even number of ones here i can't move to here because we must have a zero in the front because zero one one so one must be preceded by a zero so it must go to here only okay that is the main thing i have to say and if it comes with zero one we have checked what happens when it comes with zero zero here we can move to what here that is two even number of ones we are checking and zero here so move to the to state backward because here that is c when zero comes it must be succeeded with to one that is why tricks is happening to 90 percentage but in some problems you must check for the strings and then only you get a correct understanding this is the dfa for the o condition in our condition we have a two paths moving that is first path for one machine is moving to the upper part one machine is moving to the lower part every state must be marked with every symbols we are considering that is we are considering zero or one every state must be marked with zero or one this is about the dfa now till now we have seen the easiest part that is begins with ends with easiest part now with uh, preceding uh, sorry succeeding my lectures will be the part which is tougher that is you must practice this easier part then only you will get an understanding or you will get an insight when we move to the tougher problems because we are mastering one by one we must move on to the tougher part which is most important concept when we are def, uh, designing any machine so thank you till now keep on practicing keep on growing thank you